I mean, our overall experience, I think, was uh, with, with Creekside was fantastic. You know, we had done uh, a lot of homework in advance. Janine had done a lot of homework in advance um, to try to figure out uh, what we wanted out of a builder. You know, we knew very well going in that that Creekside was going to be a good fit for us. You know, she read the book that Andrew put out. You know, we knew from the kind of houses that you've built before and the approach that you take to uh, working with owners um, that it was going to be a good experience. Um, and, and it was from and soup to nuts. Is. Yeah, and still is. It was exciting to uh, see every different phase that it was going through. And then when you realize your dream at the end and have your dream home, it's, you know, you're very happy. Going with uh, Andrew to the design center and picking out all your finishes and then coming here to the office. That was the funnest part for me of the whole build. Andrew was great with picking some things ahead of time because all the decisions that you have to make is very overwhelming. And so it was nice to be able to say, this is what I'm generally looking for. And Andrew goes and finds several samples of it and comes back and it's easy to like then pick something from, from what good taste, hit the nail on the head for what I wanted out of our home. As we moved from the design phase to the build phase, uh, I felt that we were very well informed. I mean, there was a there was a clear transition process moving from working with Andrew to working with um, Isaac, our general contractor, um, up the build. And um, at no point did we ever feel like you know we were lost or on our own or didn't know who to contact for some particular thing. And in fact you know, both Andrew and Isaac stayed in communication with us for, for quite some time during the transitions um, to help ease that. Yeah, I thought it went very smoothly. And Isaac informed us when really fun things were happening on the project, the excavator with the big machines and the trusses coming in and, you know, the countertops are going to be coming in and the cabinets are going to be coming in. So it was very nice to be a part of that. And be able to be at the house with all that was showing. I, I think the most impressive part of the build phase was just how many things were going on and how <laughs> well coordinated it was. Um, I mean, we started the build just prior to COVID. So there were a few hitches that maybe don't occur in a normal build that made, I thought, the process pretty complicated, but throughout the entire process, um, it seemed like Creekside had a very good handle on things and things moved pretty smoothly um, for everything that was going on at the time. So yeah, that was my big thing. When the walls went up, yeah. that was a, a huge deal. I mean, seeing it on paper, uh, you know, the home on paper and seeing the home, the foundation out there, like, well, this is where we're gonna be living. Um, and even when the, the flooring went in, it, it was, it was tough to see, but when those walls went up, even without, you know, anything on them, just the framing, it, it really made it real. It's like, wow, this is cool. And then, like Janine said earlier, every time something cool was coming up, you know, we were notified that it was going to be coming in. We got the chance to be there and, uh, you know, we're kind of geeky I guess in that way but it was fun to be there when they're putting stuff in like the, like the, the countertops and the and, and the, the range and, being able to put our hands in the concrete yeah, and yeah. it was kind of funny I think when we first showed up on the on the property and yeah. stake out for the foundation was uh, put around it's like well that doesn't really look that big and then all of a sudden the foundation goes in it's like okay I think it's a little bit bigger than what we thought and then you know the floor goes onto the bottom and then it's like, well, gosh, now it's small again. Now I'm worried. And then Creekside uh, gave us comfort in knowing that wait till the framing goes up and then the framing goes up and go, you're just like, okay, thank you. This is just what we wanted. <laughs> so the other design element that was really, really exciting uh, to me to see was when, um, was when the roof went in mm -hmm. over the great room. So we've got 16 foot ceilings in the great room. Um, that was a design element from Creekside. And it was it was really impressive to see the size of that room when it, when it was finally all framed out and roofed over. Um, very, very cool. I was worried initially with the design process about the 
lighting coming into the house because our old house that we lived in for 27 years was dark and I did not want that with the slope that I had picked out for our roof and Creekside designed the bump out on the top of the house that gave us the 16 foot ceilings and that has made our great room. I mean, it's just so impressive when you walk into the house and everybody comments on the how it looks with those 16 foot ceilings and the wood finishing on top and it's beautiful. You know, we live on a fairly large farm in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> um, and our mother-in-law was going, my mother-in-law, not hers, uh, <laughs> was going to be moving in with us. So we had some very specific design elements that had to be incorporated and and really got everything that, that we needed out of the house in that regard. At the end of the day, I very much felt like the house reflected 100% our values and and our uh, preferences, and it wasn't just some cookie cutter, hey, look, this is what I built for you, um, like it or lump it type of experience. I think Creekside really listened to what we wanted. We cook a lot, and our house was built around our kitchen. K kitchen and great room, yeah. The great room, and because that's where we wanted most of the living to be, not in the bedrooms, not you know, in other spaces. We wanted our livelihood to be in that great room and it's just um, so impressive and it's, it's, that's our home right, right there. We knew ahead of time that my mother was going to be living with us because my father passed away and that she was going to need a space uh, at our house. She was not going to be able to live in on her own somewhere. And um, it was going to have to be an ADA room um, so special needs with the bathroom and, and her ability to get around, especially as she continues to age. And so it's a nice suite that gives her some privacy. She's on one end of the house. We're on the other end of the house as far as our rooms go. And she has a separate door that she can go in and out of and have her own privacy. And, yeah. well, and frankly, it gives us a lot more privacy too. She's Because she's got her own space to go to and does have uh, the amenities that you would want for daily living there, um, it gives us back more of the house that, that we wanted for ourselves. So, yeah, that was fantastic. You know, your, your whole life has led up to this. My husband and I used to take walks every every night and plan like this is what we want when we retire this is this is what we're looking for this is what we want in a home this is what we definitely don't want in a home no. and i think by the time that we got to here we were pretty set in what we wanted and that's what we ended up with was our dream yeah. home yeah we spent basically two years prior to even approaching creekside to figure out exactly what we would want or what would be our high priorities and with the realization of that it's yeah it's it's like we wake up in our favorite b&b every day yeah. i mean we actually say that to each there's other. elk going through the backyard and the mist hitting the the hills we have our jacuzzi right af outside our, our bedroom. master bedroom and the the clover and all the animals and it, it's as close to waking up on vacation every day as we could hope to get <laughs> <laughs> I love our bathroom because our bathroom has two very large windows to the outside and it's literally like you're taking a shower outside because the elk will be in our backyard and you're just there with nature and I, I love it. It's all grass and trees and you know our shower is with the stone and the tile that looks like wood and I love our bathroom. The other really cool design feature from my perspective we haven't talked about yet is the theater that, that we have in. That was kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, definitely <laughs> wanted that theater and it came out perfectly. And, and one of the things, and I don't remember whose idea it was, that kind of came up in the middle of the design uh, phase was putting our favorite movie quotes, we watch hundreds of movies, um, on the wall. Yeah, take credit for it then. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was letting it go. We watch a lot of movies and um, 
uh, me and Janine and our son spent um, a couple of months watching uh, the bulk of the movies that, that we really love and picking out hundreds of quotes. And Creekside was able to get that all those quotes made into custom wallpaper. It just makes the room we get asked all the time where we got that. And uh, people comment on that every time they come in the house, the, the wallpaper specifically in the theater. So yeah, no, I love the whole room. Whole house. <laughs> I also want to say our dining room because the two five foot windows, I think they're five, two five foot windows that open up to our view in the backyard. Again, it just makes you feel like you're outside and um, brings in a lot of light and beautiful view just every day. You know, Creekside support through the, the Thrive phase has been very similar to the support that we received through the other phases of the build. And that has been one to, to stay in touch and to be very supportive um, and help provide guidance to us as to how to manage the things that come up with, you know, a bespoke custom home. Um, not everything's gonna be perfect right out of the box. And I, I still feel like we're getting wonderful support two years after you know we started this whole thing. I mean, I really feel like throughout the entire process from identifying Creekside as the builder we wanted to go with through today, which is, like I said, about two years after um, our first meeting with Andrew, that our needs, priorities, and desires have always been at the forefront of how Creekside's approached us. Um, that at no point did I feel like we were pressured into putting something in because it would look good from Creekside's perspective. I mean, everything was about what we wanted. And if we ever said something like, um, we don't have any bathtubs in the house. And I'm sure at some point somebody said, well, that kind of affects the resale value. And the moment we said, we're never gonna sell the house, that question just never came up again. Everything, so everything along the way um, in our dealing with Creekside through the Thrive Phase has very much been about, you know, us and, and our uh, vision for what that house should be. Creekside has always been there for us, um, both with the house and I think personally, you know, life happens when you're building a house. It's a long process and things go on. And, you know, we definitely had different things happening in, in our personal life that we had to call and say, this really can't happen and you guys are just so, Creekside is so flexible and understanding and comforting and patient with everything that went on during that time that um, we had no control over, they had no control over, but we're still very supportive. The customer service was just, uh, I think, beyond, above and beyond, more so than anything, any kind of service industry that I have had to come in contact with my entire life and that's what made it so pleasurable throughout the whole process. I mean, some things would happen and, and Creekside's so patient and calming and sometimes, you know, I might have gotten just frustrated with a sub, but Creekside is always there. It's, you know, don't worry, it's going to get done and it always got done and um, in, in the manner that it should have gotten done. If a, problem arose. Creekside was right there fixing whatever problem might have come up and um, just eased my maybe frustration or concern that might have popped up because no. every everything always turned out the way it was supposed to. I guess I, I initially went into it um, because there was a street of dream homes that I fell in love with and I had been um, looking not only in magazines but all the remodeling shows and just my job takes me into different contractors offices and their um, dealings with construction and how they handle things and when I got into Creekside I didn't see any of all the negative that I had seen in all these other places and it was very welcoming and um, you listen to what we wanted and that's what you designed and that's what you built. Yeah, throughout the entire process, I really felt that what differentiated Creekside from the other builders who have, you know, example homes out on the market is that even the 
you know, the, the street of dreams style homes that you guys have out there that don't have anybody living in them. They still look like somebody's home, not like something that just fell off the page of an HGTV episode. You definitely wanted a home for us not a home that, that somebody else thought would be great for us. And um, I, I would do it all over again. I, I think that we got exactly the house that we wanted, one that reflects, again, our, you know, priorities and... Because I didn't push, like, what was, you know, going on in uh, what everybody else was picking out at the time. Yeah, you yeah. Know, everybody likes... Barn doors and shiplap and white on white, and that, that's and that's fine. What somebody people, wants, but that's, that's not cool. What we but that's not what we wanted, and we got exactly what we had in our minds. Our vision got realized, and, and from all those twenty-seven years of walking and discussing what we wanted, yeah, I really felt that that Creekside delivered on building us and, our home, and would happily do it again. And you know, we already discussed with Creekside other projects going forward that because of COVID might not have been able to happen at the house at the time that we still would like to do. And we've recommended them to other people and we'll continue to do so. I think though that the book that we got, that was awesome because it really helped us realize what was expected of us, what our expectations should be. And it helped us uh, sit down together and write out what our priorities were as a couple and what we wanted the house. I think that really eliminated a lot of problems yeah. initially, um, saves time and energy during the build. Again, not everything went perfectly, but knowing that this is the way things are really that yeah. happen in the construction world, it was easier to just go take a deep breath and go, okay, this is normal. It's okay. And I guess the other thing I would like to say is don't try to micromanage your own uh, build and let Creekside do everything because of the possibility of misunderstandings between you and a sub. And I had one very small example. I don't even remember what it was. It was just really nothing that really meant anything. But what he heard and what really needed to happen um, was something that shouldn't have happened. And from that point on, I was always call Creekside, call Creekside, <laughs> call Creekside, call Creekside. Yeah. And that eliminated any kind of confusion. The other thing that didn't turn out to be something we wish we would have known in advance, but that from what we've heard from other people that have had custom builds, um, that they describe as something they weren't aware was going to happen is there's when you're building a custom home there's a lot of decisions to be made and Creekside did a fantastic job of kind of paring those decisions down to bite-sized chunks but if more than one person we're a couple and if more than one person is involved in prioritizing what needs to be done it is vital that you have those priorities kind of fleshed out before you come in to Creekside to start the build because again things are not going to go to as planned and and having two people arguing over what should be axed from a project because not everything can be done or what change should be made because it can't be done the way you wanted it to be made like I said we got lucky we knew exactly what we wanted or for the most part knew almost everything we wanted. Um, and I think that that kind of helped us not get as frustrated as some of our- but Get bogged down in the project. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we had, had spent as much time as we did thinking Before. about what we wanted beforehand, yeah. I would say read Creekside's book uh, if you're planning on working with them. Um, get to know them. Anytime that you're entering into um, a project like this, I mean, we're two years in right now and we still have a relationship with with Creekside, you want to make sure that that relationship is going to be good and that it's been fantastic for us. Another reason why I would recommend you guys to anybody is that, and maybe I'm not supposed to eat you guys, that Creekside would... It's like working with family. Yeah, it, it really is. is.